you take the third line that's dysfunctional in somebody with an undefined ego, and you have somebody who thinks of themselves as the lowest of the low. What a burden it is to carry such a thing around, isn't it? What an incredible, unfair burden. A burden that is imposed on children. You see, to be a third line being from my perspective is something that is deeply beautiful. This is the only way that we really get to see what is on this material plane. That it's not just about accepting some belief system, some formula, some random this or that. It is about the trial and error that establishes validity or not, possibility or not. Can I do this without the third line? That there is no way for us to go unless we have direction that is correct, that is accurate, that is precise, that has been tested. Now think about having a fifth line at the unconscious level. Now the fifth line is the line of the heretic, but is a deep, deep line of projection. All fifth lines bring out an initial positive projection.